some have uh, suggested that the Cahill tax program was perhaps a better program than what was eventually uh, enacted during the Byrne administration. Sure it was. Sure, if for no reason other, at least from a point of view of a tax theorist, which I am, a, a uh, gross income tax isn't as good as a, uh, as a deducted, deductive income tax because you can make public policy with deductions. A gross income tax is clumsy. Now, I voted for it, um, but the version that, that Byrne had initially introduced was not a gross income tax. The, the version that Byrne originally introduced, which I sponsored, uh, Assembly Bill 1875 in 1974 was a net income tax, and that, would, and that was what Cahill was advocating. Cahill, I, I never understood uh, the politics of that. Uh, I thought Cahill, thought then, think now, that Cahill got a, should get a lot of credit for um, putting it out there uh, and taking the very best shot he could. And as I said, he gave it every shot he had. He really did. It was hopeless politically. And I therefore can't answer the question, if he knew it was hopeless politically, why did he do it? The only answer to that is, that I can think of, because he wasn't suicidal or insane, the only answer is he knew it was the right thing and decided that he had no choice. That's what I believed then, that's what I believe now. Because no one could have looked at it and thought politically that it was going to happen, because it couldn't happen without a strong base of support from the Republicans, and that was never going to be there. And in fact, Charlie Sandman was, was lying in the weeds and everybody knew it in 1972. In fact, one of my favorite moments in the legislature had to do with that, I'll tell you in a second. Um, so why did Cahill do that? Why did he put it all out there and spend all of that political capital? And I've never in all of these years, that was 1972, this is uh, f uh, 37 years later, and the only answer I've come up with is because he knew it was the right thing to do and decided he had no choice. Um, I have no better answer.